what if you have all of the HDL particles, but they're not working? Something's wrong with the pre-beta, or maybe one of the other alphas. So the functionality is important. It's sort of like if you have a garbage truck with four flat tires. You know, you're not a big garbage truck, but it doesn't get to the site of picking up the garbage, so it's not functional. So HDL functionality, up until now, you really couldn't even measure it. Uh, you had what were called indicative markers of HDL functionality, but those were not accurately assessing the function of the HDL. But sometime in the next month uh, at the American Heart Meeting, there will be a revolutionary new test announced that causes the ability to measure reverse cholesterol transport. It's also called cholesterol efflux capacity. That simply means your ability to take LDL out of the tissue through one of the forms of HDL. So that will allow us to really determine the functionality of HDL with a lab test. And then it goes even more complicated. It's not just the type of HDL, it's not just the functionality, it's also the number of particles that you have of HDL. And the labs that measure advanced lipid testing call this HDL particle number, or HDLP. So the higher the HDL particle number, theoretically, by some of the recent research, the more protected you are from coronary heart disease and myocardial infarction. In fact, a lot of researchers have sort of taken the stance that the two most important things that you can measure now related to HDL are its function and the number of particles. And if we can do both of those at the same time, we then can predict a lot better what the role of HDL will be in protecting you from coronary heart disease and myocardial infarction.